this close to passing on these, but ultimately I decided to pick up the Tom Ford Soleil Neige quads for 2022 because I tend to really enjoy these every year. Now, is it just me or does it seem like Tom Ford just keeps launching the most random quads at the most random times, some with the most random formulas? It's been a lot for me to keep up with. I went through a phase with Tom Ford where I wanted to try all of his new launches, but then it just came to be overwhelming and quite honestly exhausting because the quality was so hit and miss and his items are not cheap to the point where even I, who has an excuse to buy a ton of makeup. Doing this as a full-time job was like, I, I can't, I don't want to. I've been disappointed too many times. But when it comes to the Soleil Neige, usually they're really good. But these I thought looked interesting. So I did, I caved, I was weak. And I picked up both of the Soleil Neige quads. So if you're new to Soleil Neige and Tom Ford, every year at the holiday season, he launches these Soleil Neige quads, which I'm probably saying that wrong, but just... Let it go, let it go. And they are all very white and icy and very wintry. And I always end up really enjoying them. I feel like they look so sophisticated on the eyes. So I got this year's, you can get them on Sephora. They just actually launched on Sephora very recently. I picked mine up from Nordstrom, but I will have all the places that I'd recommend picking up down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so these are called, as I said, the Soleil Neige Eye Color Quads. They are $90 each. That's why I was hesitant and I can't believe I picked up both. <laughs> now how Tom Ford describes these eyeshadows is an eye quad with four multi-dimensional shadows inspired by the glacial radiance of skin kissed by wintry air. Again that wintry kind of vibe. So this year's palettes are going to come in this box right here. It says Tom Ford Soleil eye color quad. Both of the palettes are made in Italy and then both are going to come in a nice sleeve to keep your palettes protected. I hold on to mine for travel and then here is the packaging now this is not new packaging this is the same as last year's Soleil Neige quad I believe this was the same as last year's Soleil Neige quad it's silver and here's the back in case you need to take a look now Morgan why Tom Ford why would anybody want to spend $90 on Tom Ford not everybody's gonna like Tom Ford for most people it's probably not gonna be worth it but they have a specific look that is very elegant and effortless that looks really refined on the eye. The formula of Tom Ford, the formula that I love is very flattering for more mature eyelids. It's very easy to use. And sometimes it just takes a certain eye to be able to see the elegance that it provides. It's very difficult to explain, but it's just the Tom Ford factor, you know? So let's take a look at the colors. I'm gonna turn the lights down because these are these are icy. So when you open it up, it does come with a mirror and the palette does hold itself up. It also will come with two applicators, which, oh geez, I never use, but I don't know, just in case I keep them. Here's the first color. This is Chalet Lust, which looks like it's gonna be terribly, terribly chalky looking and very light but I tend to really like these kinds of shades from Tom Ford. And then this one right here is Opera Ski, which is one that I almost didn't pick up. It didn't look as nice to me, but it's looking more beautiful to me now that I have it in front of me. I'm still more attracted to the lighter one, I'd say. But let's swatch these and see. So we'll start off with Chalet Lust, which has rose gold and copper tones. <laughs> So let's see, so we have kind of like an icy white champagne, a gold shade. These feel more powdery and less slippery than some Tom Ford shades that I'm used to. They seem to hold a little bit more glitter than the really soft formula that I enjoy from Tom Ford, but they look very pretty by swatch, let's see. So here's the first shade, looks pretty. The glitters seem a little bigger here than what I'm used to. Like, look at this. You can really see that with that swatch. Huh. Huh. This has potential to be bad. Okay, let's take a look at the darker one. I didn't realize that that one was going to be so glitter-filled. Interesting. Okay, this one is Opre Ski. Now, this one has a smoother feel to it. It doesn't feel as glittery as Chalet Lust. I'm not crazy. You can totally see the difference. 
totally different formulas. If you like that classic Tom Ford wet dry formula, you'll like the darker one. You will not like Chalet Lust. This one has some glitters. I feel like these would be pretty paired together. We're gonna see, we're gonna test this out, but very, very interesting. This is why I do review because I take the hit when it's bad. So here we go. Let's leave the lights kind of low for this so we can see in Chalet Lust because this one could be really light. I'm gonna start off with the darkest shade. I feel like this might be a palette full of just eye toppers. Let's pop this in the outer corner. Oh my gosh, so much glitter. I know a lot of you are already crossing this off of your lid. I like glitter, but I don't know if I want it all in a quad, you know, for $90. Is this what I really want? Now they did launch all glitter quads last year, which were so much better. I don't know, I don't know. This is pretty actually. It holds no depth whatsoever, but this is pretty for like an all over one and done lid color, right? With all the glitter. I'm not hating because I don't even have glitter fallout. It's really pretty. Huh, this will be stunning all over the lid. <laughs> Um, I'm confused as to where to go from here because that gave me no depth it was the color of my skin Pretty much right like the tiniest little bit depth it gave. Let's try goldie over here I'm using a small brush because I got a small eyelid. I mean, it's pretty like I, I feel like I should have combined this with the other palette because this is all lid toppers and this one added brightness i mean it looks really pretty on the eyelid okay then we have this one which is almost like a lavender i did wipe my brush off by the way let's just make sure they all four have some difference to them okay <laughs> this is like the worst review ever this one has more smoothness to it like it's not as glittery as the other two be a very pretty lid color. Wow, that actually had a really pretty eye-opening effect. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't hate it. I don't think it's a palette that you can get a whole look out of, as you can see. This is a palette where unless you're planning on using these as one and done shadows, like you're you're not gonna do what I did today. I'm gonna start off taking the darkest color. We're just gonna run this along the lower lash line. This was not where I expected this to go. And that's the thing with Tom Ford palettes and partially why I review them as well because what you see is not what you get most of the time but you see that refinement on the eye how sophisticated Tom Ford made a glitter shadow look it's really really pretty it's not gonna be worth the money for a lot of you if you are not in the market for like lid topper shades like these absolutely do not purchase this I want to be mad at it but I'm not because all four shades look different. They hold something different on the eyelid, which is huge for me. They don't all look the same. However, this is like a complimentary palette to another palette. You know, we'll come back to this. I have pause about this, but we'll come back to this. Let's play with Opre Ski, Opre Ski, whatever. Now, on this eye right here, I think we're gonna like this one better, and this is the one that I didn't want. So, I'm gonna put my eye primer on. I use the Jaclyn Cosmetics First Base Eyeshadow Primer, by the way. It's grown to be one of my favorites. I really like it for every day. Like if I'm doing, not what I'm reviewing right now, but if I'm doing a really heavy duty eye look, I won't use the Jaclyn Cosmetics. But this is perfect for like natural makeup looks. I feel like it does smooth over the lid. Underrated product. Anyways, Opera Ski, please give me something to be excited about. Okay, okay, we're gonna start off with this shade right here. This is a Wayne Goss 03 brush. And I'm gonna pat this on the outer corner. This is a larger size brush. Like when it comes to Tom Ford reviews, they always take me on a roller coaster ride because it's true. What you see in the pan is never what you actually get. It's always a surprise. Sometimes it's really, really positive, and then other times it's really a curveball thrown in there. Okay, so this is very pretty. This is why I like Tom Ford shadows. I think this is blending out pretty much by itself. It's looking very smooth. I like that. Okay, let's get into the darkest shade. Depth gods, please make it happen. Okay, the depth gods partially delivered. It wasn't as dark as I wanted because sometimes Tom Ford can give you a shade that doesn't look really deep, but then it's super deep on the eyelids. Not with this, it did give depth, you know? Depth gods were slightly listening. They were a little busy though. Not with this palette, I can tell you that. Ooh, but that's really pretty. 
Mm, mm -hmm. It's been a while since I bought a Tom Ford quad since they've been making me mad. But this is why I like Tom Ford. Do you see how sophisticated this eye looks? It's shimmery, but it's not obnoxious. It's gorgeous. And you guys know I like obnoxious. But Tom Ford... Mm, they do it. I appreciate all styles of makeup. Okay, Blink Brush E14. This is like a rosy gold shade, but we'll see. Okay, it's a pretty lid shade, right? I feel like this palette's gonna look good on medium skin tones. Like as a really pretty natural rose gold palette, medium to deep skin tones, this will be stunning. I don't know about deep, but medium for sure. But I, I have a feeling this will look good on deep skin tones okay now let's try the lightest shade which has a little bit of like pewter gray in there probably not the best move for an inner corner color it's like kind of grayish okay let me sneak it a little bit more into the inner corner now this is a tom ford formula that i really like i like this palette i think it's very pretty it gives that tom ford elegance and sophistication that i was looking for really simple look okay so i'm just gonna go back into this shade i think this shade right here is my favorite it's so pretty it's like a copper but i love how it looks rose gold with the rose gold shade okay we'll get the deepest color now Build up the depth out here with the esum s31 let's just put this shade more to work these are two very different looks I'm gonna go into Chalet Lust. I wanna see how these shades will look as a lid topper. We're gonna use the gold because I feel like the gold is gonna go best. I mean, for it being a glittery shade, didn't do much on top of the other shadows. It added more. It added extra dimension and gleam. That's for sure. But was it enough? Tom Ford, why you always do this to me? Anyway, so let me put on some eyeliner and mascara. So before I get into my final thoughts about the palette, I did want to do some comparisons for you. I really didn't have that many comparisons, but let me just talk you through my thought process. We're going to start off with this special one over here, Shadow. Lust. I don't think I have a Tom Ford palette that has glittery sheer formulations quite like this. I did want to compare last year Tom Ford launched this Lava Luster palette which was also an all glitter palette but I just wanted to show you the differences in the formula. These are not the same whatsoever. I loved Lava Luster by the way. You can see the Lava Luster while it is very glittery, just like Chalet Lust, it has much more pigment to them and much more impact on the eyelid. I don't know why we went so sheer with this year's. Okay, I mean, I liked Chalet Lust, but looking at Lava Luster, I'd choose Lava Luster any day over Chalet Lust. I also did pull one of my lightest palettes from Tom Ford. This is another Soleil Neige palette, Soleil et Lune. These aren't the same at all, so different formulas, colors show up different. So I did pull that, but I don't really think it's comparable. I mean, looking at the other ones that I pulled, they just are not the same. So this is, for me in my collection, kind of one of a kind. We'll talk about my thoughts later. <laughs> Let's get into the one that has color, the one that I'm definitely going to recommend more, which is Opre Ski. So I feel like Opre Ski is Body Lust's rosy little sister. It's a little bit lighter than Body Heat. I don't have Body Heat anymore, but... They remind me of each other. Fortunately, can't compare them for you. But I did want to compare kind of my more pinky based palettes. So right here I have Rose Prisme, which is a fairly new one from Tom Ford. The tones are different. This one is a little bit more icy. So top is Opera Ski, and then this is Rose Prisme. They're definitely different, I would say, but you can see the similarities that I saw. I also wanted to compare to one of my all-time favorites from Tom Ford, First Frost, which is incredible, another holiday launch. So First Frost is cooler, I would say, and honestly, I much prefer First Frost color story-wise, but they are not similar at all. It's like both of these palettes, I feel like they are so safe and so basic, but I really couldn't find a good dupe within my own collection. Okay, so here are my final thoughts about these palettes. Are either of these standouts in the Tom Ford line? Do you need to grab them? Do you need these to be your first Tom Ford palette? No. I felt that way about First Frost, Lava Luster, Metal Lust. 
not these two this year. However, do I dislike or get angry at either of these, which I have done with Tom Ford palettes in the past? Very far from. The last one that literally invoked anger in me, which one was it? Naked Pink? This one, so bad. These, miles better. Now, if you had to pick one, I think the clear choice here is going to be Opry Ski. You get that really classic Tom Ford formula, which is so lovely on the eyelid, and it actually gives you something, you know what I mean? Shally Lust, I have mixed feelings about. I think the shadows are very pretty, they're very subtle, very luxurious. That being said, is she worth $90? No not worth $90. I mean, you can see the micro fine glitters in there. So lovely. I'm not mad I have this. I'm not mad that I purchased it, but you know, it's $90. And while the four shades do look different from one another, not different enough. They all are just so light. And I like this a lot more. And then I revisited Lava Luster from last year. And Lava Luster was just a better formulation, a better curation of colors. And it reminded me like, no, this is not worth $90. It's very pretty, I think it's good quality, but it's it's too icy and sheer. And I think a lot of you are gonna be able to agree with me on that. So a solid launch from Tom Ford, but nothing crazy, nothing that you gotta have, but very, very pretty nonetheless, especially Upray Ski over here. I'm happy that I bought this as a failure of a Tom Ford collector, somebody who has a lot of Tom Ford stuff. I mean, this one is still very beautiful and I'm happy that I picked it up. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So if you tried any of these palettes, tell me down below what your thoughts are on these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found that helpful. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you tomorrow with yet another review. We have so much to review, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good one.